Hello guys and today I'm going to show you the gaming performance on the Nvidia GeForce RTX 2050 laptop gaming GPU. So without any further ado, let's get started. The Nvidia GeForce RTX 2050 is a budget laptop gaming GPU that comes in entry level laptops at around the $500 to $700 price points. The GPU has 4GB of GDDR6 memory on a 8 nanometer process and a TDP of around 30 watt making it a low power GPU. 4GB of video memory could be a limiting factor here due to many games requiring more memory recently but if you look to play any of the current games they tend to still work fine with 4GB of video memory. This is mostly intended as an entry level GPU for esports games or gaming with lowering some settings so while keeping your expectations there it is quite good. Also being an RTX GPU you get the major benefit of DLSS which is actually surprisingly beneficial for many of the AAA games out right now even the ones that we have tested here. So the games tested here will include Counter Strike 2, Call of Duty Warzone 3, Ghost of Tsushima and Senua Saga Hellblade 2. The other specs of the laptop will include an Intel Core i5 CPU along with 16GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD. So with that said here are the results in game. down the enemy. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. An enemy squad's hunting you. Stay sharp. Let's go, Kirk. They were scared, but alive. You can find them. They need you. Follow them. Help them. Find somewhere to hide. I want to go. So, in conclusion, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2050 is barely capable of running most of the latest AAA games at 1080p with good FPS. Most future games will seem to pose an issue here including Hellblade 2 here which was almost unplayable on this. Other than that, the more optimized games such as Ghost of Tsushima and all the other esports titles ran really well here with a good gaming experience. So if you're looking for a budget entry point gaming laptop, this is a good option for you 
and it is also a good option if you just want a laptop for editing or rendering which requires a GPU and also want to do some light gaming on the side. So that's it for the video guys thanks for watching, please like share and subscribe to the channel and hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.